Chica's Icon Series skin was announced 11 days ago, and already we are seeing another Icon Series skin getting announced from a content creator, which will be put into the Fortnite item shop with a V20.40 update. So in today's YouTube video, I'm be telling you everything you need to know about Intro Man himself, Ali A's Icon Series set coming to the Fortnite item shop. Now in the video, we're going to be talking about the actual cup where you can earn the skin a little bit early, including a free emoticon. We'll be talking about how you can get a free spray. We'll be talking about when they will arrive in the item shop and so much more. So Without further ado, let's get into everything you need to know by firstly talking about the emote. You can see the emote in the background footage right now, and while it is muted, something I want to mention here is that it plays his iconic intro music. The bum 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 bum. I know that was cringe, but I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm not going to take any risk here, so instead you get to hear my voice instead, okay? Anyways, yeah, it's going to play that on loop, but it's a traversal emote where you can ride around and just have some fun. Now, I wonder if, since there is the risk of it potentially being copyrighted, if you turn off copyrighted sounds if you're just casually riding around without the audio, but that is to be seen with the V20.40 update. Now before we talk about the cosmetics and when they'll arrive in the item shop, I want to talk about the other goodies you can get entirely for free. So firstly, on screen right now you're seeing the LEA was here spray. You'll be able to get this with the launch of the V20.40 update by doing a new LEA themed quest that will show up in your actual quest menu, where you have to go to the LEA experience, create a map, and get at least 15 eliminations. Now based on the map edit itself it might actually be 25 eliminations because while it originally said 15 in game later on they actually edited the in-game text to say 25 so it might be 15 it might be 25 but the blog post itself says 15 so that's what we're going to go with for now now the LEA experience creative code is 5135-8778-2901 and it was made by LEA's team atomic creative map making team this is a very cool experience because you know it's kind of like hey these creative map makers got to be a part of of helping Allier convey the history of putting his own Icon Series skin into this game. But of course, we're not here to talk about a creative map for 24 hours, so let's hop into the skin itself. On screen right now, you're gonna be seeing all the variants for Allier's outfit, and something I wanna mention here is that there's a total of eight variants, plus a little bit extra we'll talk about further on. So firstly, for the first four variants, we have Default, Elevated, Matroix, and Ultra Armor Matroix Styles. On top of that, the final four variants, oh, like past Matroix and all that, is Sapphire Paragon, Sapphire Paragon Revealed, which is basically just, you know, his face being able to be seen through the actual helmet, Titanium Tech, and Titanium Tech Revealed, which once again shows his face through the helmet. Now, the very interesting part about all these variants, past stage 3 and onwards, is that while it's not reactive and you'll be able to pick any one of these you want, something else they're going to have is for the armor variants, you'll be able to choose four different color styles. This is Rare Reaper. Reaper, Uncommon Combat, Epic Insurgents, and Legendarian, which is blue, green, purple, and gold. Now, this was actually inspired, believe it or not, by the Omega and Carbide Lights from all the way in Chapter 1, Season 3, or 4, so it's crazy to see that this inspiration is getting put into his skin, and honestly, it's just crazy to see how many variants this is going to have, so I wouldn't be surprised if it actually turns out to be like a full $20 skin. Now, of course, LEA isn't just going to be getting a spray and a skin in the game, because we have all these accessories accessories you can see on screen right now. Included with the outfit is the Alitech Backplate Back Bling, which will have two different style variants, one where those holographic blue wings are invisible, and then an alt style that actually enables the wings called Plasma Wings. On top of this, we will also get the Alitech Plasma Wings Glider, which apparently is built into the outfit entirely. This makes me think that maybe it'll be restricted to Alie himself, however, based on the actual like live stream Alie did, there is just some slight speculation that maybe it's just synergizing with the back bling so you can at least equip the back bling and use the glider anywhere. However, that is to be seen once we officially get the V20.40 update. On top of that though, we also have the Alitech Staff Pickaxe, which will be in the item shop and the Alie emblem on the pickaxe will spin around as you hit with it. Now for the final two parts, uh, you're gonna love this final one, but firstly we have the blue A wrap and then as I mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we have the little Doppladoculus, and I might have butchered that a little bit, my bad, emote. Now the e emote itself you already saw, but of course I'm going to play it in the background once again because it's just a goofy emote. I honestly really enjoy it, and I'm hyped to see that this is just something that's going to be in Fortnite forever. 
However, for our final topic, we have one more set of stuff to talk about, which is the Allié Cup, where you can try winning the skin and the back bling a little bit early, but also earn eight points to unlock the Allié Army emoticon, which you can see on screen right now. Personally, I'm gonna be participating in this cup because I would like to get the emoticon to put it on a holographic back bling. I just feel it might add a little bit more aesthetic to the Allié cosmetic set of the entire slew of items. However, let me give you the quick rundown. Firstly, you can see all the pricing on screen right now, so just find your region as I talk about this to figure out where you're actually going to be able to need a place in order to get the cosmetics. So this is a zero build duos tournament that will happen on May 18th. Anyone can participate, anyone in the world just can hop in May 18th, participate in the zero build duos cup for a chance to earn the outfit. Obviously the pricing is on screen, but I'm quickly going to go over it as well for the audio listeners. For EU, it's the top 1,200 people to earn the outfit in the back bling. For NA East, it's the top 800. For NA West, it's the top 350. For Brazil, it's also the top 350. For Asia, Oceania, and Middle East, it is all the top 100. Now, of course, each region, Asia, Oceania, and Middle East, will each have the top 100 for that region. So it's not combined for the top 100 of all three regions. They're each separate. So you technically have three chances there to place the top 100 if you do multiple different regions. Overall though, I do gotta admit, you know, I think that this is really cool. I think it's really cool that Allie was able to get his actual creative team involved in revealing the skin, doing a mini live event in creative mode, and while the creative mode live event was a little buggy and the image didn't update right away, it's still cool to see what is possible with creative and potentially creative 2.0 once that officially releases. So I'd love to hear in the comments down below, what do you think about all these cosmetics? Please keep it civil, of course. Anyways, with that said, my name's Fire Monkey, and I'll catch the champs and champettes tomorrow with another YouTube video. Peace out.